Now this you can see over here is my H drive. I have installed XAMP onto my system. And on XAMP I have Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat. Now I'm going to click on FileZilla and start that. This FTP service. I click on start. It's turned green. It's on now. I'm going to go to admin and my server address 127.0.0.1. Okay. And there I am. I want to edit this, specifically a user. I go to general. And I have a user called George Bool. I added him in. What have I done with George? I have allowed George to share these folders, the H drive. Ah. He can read and write and create and list and list subdirectories. Wonderful. That's what I need. And okay. I'm back here. I don't want to be here. Let me minimize this. And I'm back to my XAMP control panel. It's on. I'm ready. Let's move that out of the way. And let's get the Python shell up here. And I want to FTP into my into my own computer server here. So let's do that. I'm going to import FTP library. Safari so goody. I'm going to connect. Huh. I'm going to connect. And that's going to equal FTP live dot FTP open parens open quotes 127 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 close quotes close parens close quotes, close parens, and I enter. Good. The next thing I do is con dot, con dot login. And the name of my user is George Bool. Close quotes, comma, no password. I'll get rid of this guy as soon as I finish this lesson anyway. I'm logged on now. DTA equals open open close. So I've just created a uh, a variable called DTA. It's a list. The next thing I'm going to do, it's an empty list. I'm going to use com dot dir and I'm going to connect to DTA. I'm going to say I'm going to say DTA append onto your silly self the directory associated with com. So we're going to append the directory, append the directory into this list. That's wonderful. Let's do that. And no errors so far. Com dot quit. And I hit enter. It says goodbye. Wow. For X in DTA, let me see what I've got in there. Colon. Print out whatever is in print out the X that's going to be iterating through DTA. Here it comes. This should be my entire directory for my H drive. Oh, there they go. <laughs> the parade of hits. It's a lot of stuff there, too. Let's go back up. And you can see it's wrapping around here. Wow. My C language program series and Icelandic volcano. My 
March 2010 classes. Wow. All my stuff from my uh, H drive. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Well, I closed the connection. Did I close the connection? Yes, I did. Now, what I've also done is I've taken this and I've let me find my other guy and I saved all those commands into a file called ftpcom.py. Let's go through it. Import ftp live, connect to ftp live.ftp 127.0.0.1 and George Boole is the guy I'm going to log in with, no password, and connect to, connect to that guy using this variable. This time I'm using connect rather than con. So now D is my list. <coughs> D is my list. No space. Now I'm going to connect. I'm going to take a directory and append that onto the end of D. And as soon as I've done that, I'm going to quit out of this connect, this connection. For every X in D, print out X. That's my file. File. And save. I'm good. Now, I want to go to Python 3, execute this from the command line. That should be fun. Let's see what that does. And do I have a connection? Do I have a command line? Yes, I do. There we go. I'm in Python 3. And the name of that file, once again, was FTP command, I think it was. No. ftcon.py, ftpcon. All right. So let's execute ftpcon from this prompt. ftpcon.py and see what happens. Oh, it worked. It was great. There you go. I can scroll over with this. It's much easier. Wow. So there are all the contents of my H drive, which I FTP'd into and got a listing of. And that's it. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Wow. Amazing. Well. Oh, that's about all I have to say. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Bull. Bye-bye now.